welcome to video number 5 welcome back in the previous video we stopped at course evaluation survey I showed you that we should log into our educate from evaluation tab you have to click on the group number and copy the survey statistics from there on any blank excel sheet once you copy it there then you have to pick up data and you have to insert it here according to the headings whether it is strongly disagreed agreed now the most important thing you need to note is that this total should be 100 usually it is just 0 0.1 less than 100 or more than 100 where you can just round it up now when we have entered the data this is how it looks see the whole all the questions in the survey okay they are total 24 questions in this survey online and this is the statistics we received now once we enter the statistics for the survey here just scroll to your right what do you see here I'll just make it little yes this is a table which will show you the criteria all the criteria and the percentage of grades given to it out of five this is out of five means when the students have graded each criteria here see this course objective course objective we can say that 4.28 strongly disagree that they have so around 60 percent of them strongly agree that yes they have achieved the course objective 57 percent have strongly agreed that the lecture plan was good so these are the statistics you know this is the criteria of the survey objective learning plan resources assessment timings and course benefit and this is the statistics so overall this is the score out of 5 4.18 so this is the percentage see the objectives course objective 83 percent of them lecture planning 82 percent resource 82 so overall the course evaluation survey got 83 percent that means it is really good it's very good it's high see this is when you scroll little down you see the graph can you see the graph so all your course evaluation shows throughout that each criteria is above four See, when you come here, it will show you the score 4.18, 4.16. So that means it was overall a good session. When you come down, can you see the survey in a graph? This is for each criteria. Yes. See, strongly agree, disagree, then agree, neutral. strongly disagree or strongly disagree so you don't have anybody who disagree strongly disagree is very less so overall it is a good see number of satisfied students for each criteria it's good so here can you see this is the actual number of students and the satisfied students so overall this helps us to know the course evaluation this survey we have picked up data from the educate where students do it just before by end of the semester or before they see their results now here CLO survey this there is no data here still what I did is I have picked up my CLOs and I have put them here 
you can also design questions and put them here and give a questionnaire to the students and from that questionnaire you can calculate and fill in the statistics here so we will know that did we achieve our CLOs how what is the percentage is it 60 50 40 20 whatever it is once we fill in this data here strongly disagreed agreed on each then you will get the graph exactly as we got in CES survey so this will help you to measure your course learning outcomes this is the program learning outcomes survey it is it will be the same but still we have not activated it will activate it in the very soon now let us come to the assessment summary here this is auto we don't have to fill in anything it picks up data from the previous sheets and can you can see that this sheet is full of graphs it has a lot of graphs showing the assessment of CLOs PLOs direct assessment indirect assessment indirect is when you fill in the questionnaires with the students direct are the tests the quizzes what we are taking can you see so here it will give you the overall statistics for your course just scroll to the side can you see percentage of students you will get all the graphs here and from here you can measure your CLOs and PLO assessment you can pick up data from here when you come just close to this can you see 58 percent means the first CLO assessment achieved is 58 percent so like this you can read and you can know how far you have succeeded in your course I hope my videos will really help you all out inshallah thanks for all your patience and listening to me goodbye goodbye everyone thanks for watching